Out in LA, it's just after two o'clock in the morning and the party continues for so many people following the big Oscars show last night. Ouch, for anybody who <laughs> might still be up from the night before, the night was filled with unforgettable moments, incredible performances, and of course, several big winners. I've been so excited for this moment because I've been dying to talk to Sandy Kenyon about what went down on the Oscars last night, and there he is live in the middle of the night in L.A. How are you, my friend? What did you make of the big show? Yeah. I'm doing great, Mike and Shirlene. Not much partying on our crew here. We are anxious to bring the news to you. It's been 20 years since a blockbuster won Best Picture. The last time it happened was The Lord of the Rings Return of the King. Now, that was over a billion dollars. Oppenheimer, this brainy movie just shy of a billion dollars, 20 years since the black, last blockbuster, and Oppenheimer prevailed just as predicted. But that didn't mean that this was totally devoid of surprises. There were quite a few emotional moments. And my eyes see Oppenheimer. The blockbuster about the bomb was the big winner during a show when all went just about as expected except when it came to the Oscar for Best Actress. Emma Stone. Emma Stone earned her second Oscar for her lead role in Poor Things. I really just want to thank my family, my mom, my brother, Spencer, my dad, my husband, Dave. I love you so much. And most importantly, my daughter, who's going to be three in three days and has turned our lives technicolor. I love you bigger than the whole sky, my girl. Killian Murphy had won repeatedly for playing Oppenheimer, and as predicted, he earned an Oscar for playing the title role. We made a film about the, the man who created the atomic bomb, and for better or for worse, we're all living in Oppenheimer's world, so I would really like to dedicate this to the peacemakers everywhere. The first performer of the night to pick up an Oscar, Davine Joy Randolph, was the heavy favorite going in for the holdovers, and she was not to be denied. For so long, I've always wanted to be different. And now I realize I just need to be myself. Robert Downey Jr. There was no shortage of emotion when Robert Downey Jr. won for his supporting role in Oppenheimer, completing one of the biggest comebacks in Hollywood history. I'd like to thank my, I'm a veterinarian, I meant wife, uh, Susan Downey over there. She found me a snarling rescue pet, and you love me back to life. That's why I'm here. Host Jimmy Kimmel walked the fine line between respect and disrespect. You were so unbelievably great in Poor Things. Emma played an adult woman with the brain of a child, like the lady who gave the rebuttal to the State of the Union on Thursday night. The show had plenty of surprises, warm reunions, unexpected cameos, and one unique musical performance. Now, that was the showstopper. No question about that on a beautifully produced show. But it did not win Best Song. There was a second movie of song from Barbie, What Was I Made For by Billie Eilish. Billie Eilish and her co-writer picking up the Oscar, and that makes history. Billie Eilish is now the youngest person ever to win two Oscars. Reporting live outside the Dolby Theater in Hollywood, I'm Sandy Kenyon. Channel 7 Eyewitness News. Sandy. Back to Mike and Shirley. We're seeing them cleaning up. We hear an <laughs> alarm. Are you going to get some rest at some point? <laughs> I'm going to get some rest, but I just love every year we're in this big disassembly. We're right in the middle of yeah, everything right coming you. down. <laughs> so great. But we'll be uh, here for your whole show. I love it. Fabulous. I love it. Thank and we love you. Thank you, Sandy. It. Thank you. Uh,